Kids aren't supposed to save your life, you know? You know, if one person wears a mask because of what I said here today, then, I, then the job is done. If people social distance because of what I've said today, then the job is done because, no, fellas, this is real. This is real. You can't make this shit up. In 2020, the world stopped because of the murders of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd and many others um, due to police brutality. And at that time, of course, COVID-19 also was part of that framework. I'm a contingent worker at Beatrice, a legacy Pfizer company. The statements and opinions expressed here by me are mine and mine alone, and they do not represent those of Pfizer or Beatrice. And that's actually the case with the burial we're doing today. We know very, very little about this man who died of COVID. A lot of people or some people in the world don't believe that this COVID is actually real, this pandemic. But if you look at our logbook, the names never end. This is just what we did during COVID. It has every decedent that came here, where they were logged in our trailer, in our emergency trailer, okay? Just look at the names. They just never, ever end. Look, look how many names. There's probably 35 names on a page. It's been very taxing for me, spiritually, psycho-emotionally, primarily, in terms of my experience dealing with COVID-19. Nas, Mob Deep, you know what I'm saying? So, Mossy Projects, like, kind of like gets his hype, gets his fame, because of people like Jay-Z. Three days later, he called me and told me I was positive for COVID. I called my family and FaceTime. When I FaceTime, that was the first time I'm seeing my tongue out of my mouth. The doctor and the nurses told me it was just swole. And I was never mentioned it came out of my mouth. That was a hor horrible experience. The world has reached another grim milestone in the history of the coronavirus pandemic, past the three million mark.